I have no idea what's going on with the world. I have no idea what's going on with my competition. But I do have a purple 3D in hand, which is making the situation a little bit better. First time trying this bad boy, let's crack it open. My day feels a little bit all over the show. Some of my clients are away in Barbados. So I had the morning off, which hasn't happened for the longest time. So I actually walked to Starves with Al, got a load of work done, and now, uh, yeah, we're going to train. So let's try this bad boy out. Grape. Sweet. Definitely better than the Monster. I like these because they're not super, super mad fizzy. Yeah, that's decent. One pint. Right, we're in for pull. Fuck, my, my head scrambled about this whole coronavirus. And you're showing up, but it's all right. And you're showing up, but it's all right. It's a short life. You have to get a YouTube review. Go on in. Grape flavour. You said you like grape as well. Wow, well, just on my teeth and I still drink that. <laughs> in my opinion, it's better than Monster because it's a little bit flatter. Wow. It's nice, yeah. isn't it? That is unreal. Unreal. The vitamin shot. Repping as well. Love to see it. Stop piling, take two. Zeno's an MS. Let's see what sort of bits we can get together. The house is getting empty. Okay then guys, you probably would have seen from my social media or something or someone's. My competition, uh, the UK DFBA men's novice competition has been cancelled or on the 31st of May 2020. Well actually tell a lie, it's not been cancelled, it's been postponed. So, uh, let's talk about that, what's happening, what's next for RC Fitness. So guys, we've got two angles going on. Shout out to Sean, because last time in the last video, he liked the two angle sort of kind of vibe. So we're flying from camera to camera, uh, just to show a bit different, but you're gonna be my main camera. So, first of all, let's talk about my transformation so far. Up until today, I was obviously full blown prep mode. We dieted from January the 1st until, what's today? The 18th of January, March. So, uh, a good two and a half months. We had the one week off in the middle, which was skiing. Uh, in that time, I managed to pull off about seven kilos, and my body did transform quite a lot. Like I said, the initial drop was good, and I was starting to really become happy with my physique. Let's try and sow some, some sort of transformation. Not only did I manage to pull off like a decent amount of body fat, but I managed to retain my muscle. As you guys know, I use that in-body scan machine and it, um, it said that I was still at 40.2% muscle, which was basically where I was at at the start of prep. So that prep was so, well, I say prep, that cutting phase was so, so successful for me. And a huge props and shout out to Al, because obviously he was programming workouts, he was tracking my training, he was giving me my nutritional advice. So big shout out to Al, and I haven't actually even told him about the competition yet. So I'm gonna jump on a call with him and see what's next for him, me and him. Um, but yeah. Um, so I'm really, really happy with the point that I'm at today. Um, what's happening with the competition? Like I say, the competition is now on September the 20th. So it's six months away. Will I be competing? No. Now the reason I'm not going to compete uh, in September is, like I said, since January 1st, my whole lifestyle, my whole every single day has been focused on prep. It's been training, nutrition, cardio, food focus every single day. So what I mean by food focus is I wake up and I go, oh, what can I, what am I having for breakfast? Oh, what am I gonna have for lunch? Oh, what am I having for dinner? If I can have this there, then I can fit that in like low calorie, 
everything revolves around food. If I'm going out, I'm thinking, no, I'm not gonna go out because I can't eat. Everything has just been focusing on food and training and nutrition, and it's not fair to carry on thinking like that for another six months. It's not good for me, and it's not good for my relationships with friends and family, like I spoke about in a previous video. Obviously, it's the right thing to do for them to cancel the competition, uh, and I'm not mad about it. It's a bit of a weird one because, see, when you dial into prep and you get so motivated to, and you're so fixated on an end goal and an end day, you're just going 100 miles an hour in, in your zone, in your zone, you start to do really, really well, and then that, to skip, for them to just pull the plug on it, it it's, it's a bit of a bit of sweet feeling. Yeah, I can now go and eat what I want, I can go and do what I want, I can socialise with friends, but for me it was having that end goal and having that driving force and for me to step on stage for the very first time which was all going to be so exciting that that i've now lost and i'm not actually craving food like that's a lot if you put pizza in front of me i'll probably eat it but i don't want to go and buy pizza i don't want to go and buy donuts i want to be i'm in such a good routine with training and nutrition that my, and my mindset was so focused that it leaves me in a bit of a funny position so Let's just talk about what's next. So my plan moving forward, I am in a fantastic position to sort of recom. Whenever, ever, ever, for the last sort of three or four years, I've always done Christian Guzman summer shredding, for dieted for about three, four months, then I've had about six months to bulk, revert, rebound, six months bulk, diet, rebound, six months bulk, and I've never had a proper time to try and grow this physique, try and add some serious tissue, uh, and not be in a bulking and cutting phase. And what being in a bulking and cutting phase, all that does for you is go, when I was bulking, I was going, oh, I can eat this bad food because do you know what? I'm gonna cut it soon. I'm gonna cut it in three months, so um, I'll eat it. Oh, me and Beth will go get a pick and mix. Oh, you enjoy a pick and mix with me, Riley. You, you're gonna be dieting next month. And so we did, so I was always just yo-yo like this. Now I'm at an amazing point where my body fat's not stupidly low, my muscle's in a decent position, my mental health is good, uh, I feel good in the gym, to slowly sort of maintain slash cruise into a nice, gentle, lean bulk um, and, and enjoy the process. I'm not setting a date on when I compete. Maybe 2021, 20, maybe not, never. I don't know. I'm just going to enjoy my training for, the, for a bit and, and, and enjoy some good food, but enjoy staying on track with food and take away all the, everything that I've learned from the prep and the competition, e.g., Intermittent fasting, fasted cardio, um, tracking my calories, tr um, tracking my lifts. I'm still going to do all of those things because they're all amazing habits and they're all put me in this better place today. I just need to now progress further and, and keep rolling with it. So, like I say, it's a bittersweet feeling knowing that, yeah, you're not going to be competing this year. But also, it's, it's a nice feeling that I'm in a fantastic position to uh, turn my training around it and... and go in this phase and, and I mean like I said I was prepared to do my competition and have an awesome summer I can now be just as prepared uh, well we don't know really what's going on with the events of summer but I'm in a really good position to now enjoy training and not miss social events um, yeah and, and see what's going to happen, happen moving forward so I wanted to like I, mean, I rambled like mad as eight minutes I was going to keep it short and sweet but the competition is cancelled. I will have a proper, proper breakdown of what is next uh, in, a, in a video to come. What's next for the channel, what's next for the series, what am I going to do on YouTube. Uh, but for now, keeping our heads up, we're in a good mindset. I am not going to go out and binge and go crazy. I'm just going to enjoy training. I'm going to carry on doing my thing. I'll probably bring calories slightly up. But that is that. The, uh, the Cut with Curry series is officially over cut very very short but appreciate you um for watching this series if i mean if you've tuned in if you've been enjoying it if you find the content's been really useful please let me know down below because i can carry on i can carry on producing content about dieting nutrition um transforming your body to where you want it to be i just need to know that you guys are enjoying it so i'm going to round up this one here i'm going to think about what's going on in the future i need to go and hit legs and i feel like it's going to be a beastie session and uh, yeah, we'll move forward.